everybody. I hope everybody's having an amazing day and amazing night whenever you're seeing this. <laughs> I'm coming over here because Harry and Meghan was just outside recently. They were at an exhibit um, supporting um, African-American exhibit of collected art. Um, they looked beautiful. They looked like they were at peace. They were there with other celebrities. Um, some people were 50-50 on her outfit. I loved her outfit. Um, I think it was this low heel with the pants because if she had on a heel, it would have made the pants flow a little better. But I loved, as a church girl, I loved her burdle jacket. I'm like, I could see that wearing that to church. And I also think it would have been a good piece for um, her to pass down to Liddy, like a little, like a capsule piece or something that she could pack down to, you know, pass down to Liddy Diana. Um, I just loved it. And I was looking at the other pictures. The other women there had on flats as well. I think it's because she was at the exhibit. It's probably a lot of walking. I know when I went to the African Mary African um, Museum in D.C., it was three floors and three hours of walking. So we had on flats. Our feet was still hurting. <laughs> so I think that's why she had on flats. But her makeup was flawless. She looked beautiful. And Harry won an award for his book. Um, he looked handsome. I was reading the comments and people were like, oh, he was like a whole snack <laughs> on the shade room. they like, dang, Megan husband is cute. <laughs> and so anyway, all good things and positive things. I'm just waiting patiently for her to drop some product. And I'm like, please drop it by Mother's Day because that's definitely going to be my Mother's Day gift. I'm trying to pay down my credit card now. I'm like, whatever dish towels, I want them all. Pots and pans, I want it. Jelly jam, I want it. <laughs> I'm just ready to support. <laughs> but anyway, let's continue to go over there and support their website and support her Instagram and everything else they have going on. With that being said, yes, I am. Um, I've said this before. I am a Harry and Meghan fan page. I only focus on Harry and Meghan. I only focus on positive Harry and Meghan because there's so much negative in the world. I just want it to be a part of the positive. Okay. I don't talk about any other royals on my page with that being said i'm not trying to avoid people i'm not being cold or rude um we know what's going on with william's wife and i wish her healing and peace is devastating um but hopefully she has a good a good support team around her family um to support her even with the king I i'm praying for healing um, I've said this on here before. My mother is a three-time breast cancer survivor. The first time she was diagnosed, she was 42. She had four young children, okay? We understand. Two years ago, she was diagnosed with it in her bones. The last report, they didn't see any. But she still has to do the chemo treatment. She still goes and does those chemo treatments. So we're in the battle of it. I have several friends in their 40s right now battling the big C. Um, you know, so we understand this. I, most people know someone or either have dealt with it in their life. A lot of people deal with it in their 40s and, you know, early in their life. And then so some people have either dealt with it, dealing with it, or have a loved one who's dealing with it. So this is very common. It's something everyone can relate to and everyone can rally behind. Do I feel like everybody needs to go on a apology thing about okay no because i think this is something that the palace created um with all of the the shenanigans that they were doing instead of just being like the king and saying this is what it is now leave us alone so hopefully she will have the peace that she needs and i know people will give her the peace she needs and she's going to get a one care and um she and I'm, I'm believing god for her healing and for the king um with that being said people are angry and they're upset that this is happening to their favorites on the other side of the pond. There's a series of a lot of unfortunate things going on over there. So they're angry and they want someone to blame. And for the last few years, it's, it's Megan who they want to blame. And of course, Harry, Harry because he loves his wife and he supports her. So they're upset and they're angry and they're targeting Megan. So I would say to all of us who love and support Megan, let's continue to lift her up. Let's lift her up in prayer. Let's lift her up here on social media. What does that look like? Not arguing with people, but I would say reporting people. Yes, TikTok, this is for you. We need to be diligent and report these threats. Take them seriously. Ban these accounts. And yes, report them to the FBI. I have reported people to the FBI and I will continue. If you're threatening children, it's not a game. It's not funny. It's not, you know, a joke. You know what I mean? Um... And, and I think it also starts with the UK media, too. They need to hold themselves accountable, too. For some reason, they're talking about what the situation is going on with William's wife and William's father. 
But sometimes they keep bringing up Harry into it as if they're the cause of it. No, this is DEA. This is um, DNA. This has nothing to do with Harry and Meghan. They didn't cause this. They don't have any part in this. They haven't been leaking things. Um, some people say Harry should be rushing to her side. And even though I'm like, well, her sister was just frolicking on the beach in a bikini, having a time of her life. Her brother's plotting a book. Her uncle did Big Brother. The queen went on vacation last week while her husband was battling. And when his wife was on vacation, but Harry's the one, and Meghan should stop everything they're doing to be by, Meg, by Kate's side. Make it make sense. No. They sent out Beck's wishes. Some people said that wasn't enough. Some people said they shouldn't have. Some people say he should feel bad about the things he wrote in the book. Why? Pe pe family um, have disagreements all the time. Family set boundaries and break generation of curses. Doesn't mean they don't love their loved one. I argue with my sisters all the time. <laughs> if something happens to one of them, I'm not going to feel bad. Oh, I should have never argued with her. You, you never know what's coming around the corner. I mean, you, you argue with your siblings. You argue with your friends. You argue with your parents sometimes. You have disagreements, especially as we grow up and we try to set boundaries. Sometimes our families don't understand boundaries. Certain families don't understand boundaries. So, I mean, but my thing is somebody said it'll be a cold day in H-E double hockey six before William um, um, forgives Harry. And I'm thinking... Cold day, cold day. What's more, this is the cold day. This is this is the bottom. When your father is battling the big C and your wife is battling the big C, and you're in the and you're alone, that's that's the May Day. That's when you need to drop the defenses and rally back up with your brother and say, Hey, I said some things. You said some things. I handled things. You handled things. I worked to get you in court. You really you told about an incident you and I had. I let people leak on you. I you know. You know, that's, I shouldn't have done that. But right now we need each other. Our father needs you. I need you. I need your strength. If nothing else, just your physical hand on my back giving me prayer and strength. And I think what the royal family is realizing, they they spent their whole life telling Harry how irrelevant he was, how much they didn't need him because William was going to be king and, and Kate was going to be queen. They don't need him. They don't need him. And they realize they do need him. They realize there is a void. They realize that if Harry and Meghan was there, they could fill in, right? Um, I think they're going to try to prop up Edward and Sophie, but no one cares. I'm sorry, no one cares about them. God bless them. They seem like nice enough people, I guess. Most people didn't even know the queen had other children. You see what I'm saying? So, but anywho, so I'm praying for healing. But I'm also praying that God keeps his love and arms and protection around Harry and Meghan. It is serious. So I'm asking you, if you're on Twitter... To not so much argue with them, but make sure you're putting out positive content about Harry and Meghan. Make sure you're putting in the hashtag, we love Meghan. Make sure you're letting, making that trend. Um, make sure you're putting out positive pictures and, you know, celebrating the things that they're doing. Supporting their charities, their organizations, their website, their Instagram. Let's rally around them and show them how much we support them. They keep trying to point the, paint the Sussex squad as vow people and we do have some people who are going going to the left all right they going too far you don't want to go so far that you become as others do right we, we we're not them we don't want to be them we are better than them <laughs> okay we're on the positive side right so let's surround harry and megan with love i feel this in my spirit that god casts his loving arms of protection around harry and megan Let's let's join in. Diana's arms of protection is around him. I still believe Harry and Meghan have God's grace and favor over them. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but let's continue to support our favorites. And you all love on each other in these comments. Let's be nice. Let's like and share each other's content. Remember to go over to my YouTube page and subscribe because if they shut TikTok down, <laughs> I'm going to be over there on YouTube with all of my content. It's Miss Cat's Life. I love you all. Have a blessed day and stay positive.